digital money should not cost the earth. And I think, again, this is a hugely hot topic at the moment is the energy footprint being used by proof of work, proof of stake and the move towards proof of stake that we have seen as of late. Um, and obviously Bitcoin being kind of heralded and the Bitcoin energy consumption. And there's a lot of discussion around that. Um, so the energy consumption in proof of work coins is a design decision. Proof of work was selected for decentralization. So energy consumption is not a requirement for decentralized systems. And I think Nano is a great example of this in the real world. And in my mind, especially if people took off the rose tinted glasses when it came to personal investments, the facts show that Bitcoin's energy consumption is unsustainable. It's as simple as that. And I will show you a diagram in a second, which I think will really highlight the difference between Bitcoin and a greener solution such as Nano when it comes to digital money. Now, there's a lot of arguments that we've seen, especially in the media and especially online in various communities around whether Bitcoin's energy consumption is actually as disastrous as many people are now realizing. And a thing that I often talk about is it doesn't matter whether the arguments, whether it uses renewable energy, whether that energy would have been used elsewhere, so we might as well use it for Bitcoin. Um, it's not really about that. The, the real question is, and the real argument is, it's about progress. If we have a, um, a company, and if we, I think if we took off our investment spectacles in the, the companies and the, the facets that we we're talking about, would we be supporting such an, uh, an extensive energy footprint? You know, would we be picketing outside a Bitcoin kind of office just as we would Shell saying this is unsustainable and you must look to a more sustainable future moving forward? Here is a great um, uh, uh, diagram, which I think really clearly highlights um, kind of Bitcoin's energy consumption versus a green alternative, Nano is known as the green coin here. So the estimated energy usage for one Nano transaction is 0.000112 kilowatt per hour. If we look at Bitcoin, we're looking at um, 1,726, and this is per transaction kilowatt hours. So if you look at these circles, that smallest circle here is 12,500 nanotransactions. And you look at the Bitcoin side in a really easy to understand way, one Bitcoin transaction uses the same amount of energy as 15.5 million nanotransactions. Now, if there are green, sustainable solutions to digital money that are working on or around, why aren't we using such a thing and defending the energy consumption that is so disastrous to the world? We are in a climate crisis. I think, you know, the whole of humanity faces this crisis and it's not a dystopian future. We are in it right now and we must be looking at technologies that are dealing with this head on and are looking towards a sustainable future when it comes to technologies. So if we look at the incumbent world, versus a Bitcoin transaction. And this is quite a shocking graph, and this is from Statista. So we have one Bitcoin transaction versus 100,000 Visa transactions. And I think this graph speaks for itself very, very clearly. I think it's also very prevalent to make sure that it's understood that when you look at how far spread cryptocurrencies are and how much they are used, versus the incumbent financial systems, cryptocurrencies take up less than 1% of the global economy. And we look at the energy being used by such technologies to then make up less than 1% of the global economy. Something needs to be done about changing this. This is not sustainable moving forward. Therefore, in my mind, this is not the ideal perfect digital money for multiple different reasons, but energy being such a huge factor as we are facing this crisis here and now. Mm -hmm.